All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, got a watch here. This is a rebuy. This is a uh, Citizen uh, Gray Panda AV0050-54H. Do yourself a favor. Just call it the Gray Panda. It has a big slab of uh, sapphire on it. It, as you can see, it's gray. It's a busy dial, very legible for me. Gave the white one away to my um, to my brother-in-law because I couldn't read it. It was a gift. He likes it. Uh, tough to do a uh, tough for me to uh, talk watches today. I live in Southern California, and uh, there is fire smoke everywhere. There's particulate in the air. The smoke is hurting my throat. I'm supposed to go to my cousin's on Sunday in Studio City. That's very tentative because uh, fires are closing uh, the 405 freeway up in the Ventura area, the Simi Valley area, the uh, the uh, part of uh, the where the 101 meets the 405 going to Studio City. San Bernardino's burning. It's really weird talking about watches as the California apocalypse continues. Now, speaking of the California apocalypse, uh, there are news reports that Northern California has a utility, PG&E, and they, their public relations is in the toilet because they're turning off the electricity for extended periods of time for like weeks. And this is what I heard on the news last night coming home from work. PG&E drivers in their trucks are being run off the road by irate motorists. So you've got truck drivers being run off the road who work for PG&E. You got fire, smoke, and here I am uh, talking about a watch, which I love. I love this watch, and uh, I'll settle down. I'll settle down. Settle down, McMahon. <laughs> so I'll talk about this watch, but I just want to let you know. I almost feel like Nero playing the violin as Rome is burning, talking about a watch while I can smell smoke all around me. It's really bad outside. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to work out tomorrow. We'll see. But anyways, I got this watch yesterday. Now, I had this watch two years ago, and I have to uh, say some things today uh, that will probably offend a lot of my uh, uh, subscribers. I'll probably lose about 5,000 subscribers. I'll be down to zero by the time this this is over. Nothing like curating your uh, your existence, your neurotic watch existence, and losing 5,000 subscribers in a period of 20 minutes. Good job, McMahon. So, uh, anyways, I turned 58 uh, three days ago, and, uh, I, you know, something happened at 58. I had, like, uh, you know, Paul was in Damascus. What was he, on a horse, a camel? And he went blind. He... You heard a divine message. Yeah. Okay, man. Are you seriously going to compare your watch obsession to Paul at Damascus? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go on with this. Unfold this craziness. Come on. Do it. Yeah. All right. So I had kind of like a solar Damascus moment on my birthday. And uh, I just want to let you guys know, I am bonding with my Citizen Echo Drives a lot. This 44 millimeter uh, watch with sapphire is is got amazing wrist presence, and I am a watch idiot savant, and uh, I can just stare at this dial for hours. I mean, I'm a geek, man. What a what what a geek. I mean, it's pretty much the same size as my uh, my tough, and I hope you can get focus on both of those. Sometimes when I put two watches in a in a screen, you know, get, they're pretty much the same size, 44. And I love them both. I mean, I, the, these are the only watches I'm wearing, and uh, and so I, I'm bonding with my uh, Citizen Echo drives a lot, and uh, and I don't even. I, I'm at the point in my life I don't even want to mess around with uh, with automatics. I, I I want I want what I call uh, accuracy, high tech accuracy, but I, I want the watch to be artistic as well. Now, I, what I won't do for my accuracy, you can wear a smartwatch, but to me, a smartwatch has no soul. It looks like a piece of uh, black plastic on the wrist that's connected with Bluetooth to your phone or something. It just, I'm really depressed at the idea of a smartphone. However, uh, there are some citizen models that, uh, such as this one, and, and there are higher tech ones, you know, the radio controlled and the GPS ones that strike the perfect balance for me uh, between uh, accurate technology and artistry. 
and I like that balance. And, and I'm, I'm loving this watch. I, I can't believe I sold it and uh, wore it yesterday to work. And, I, and, and now I have to say something where I'm a little concerned, a little concerned. Don't, don't know if I want to share this with you. I, I, uh, I don't feel that connected to my other watches. So I have a box with six Seiko watches in it. Now, I did not sell them. I'm, they're not on the market. Uh, what I did was I took advice from some very wise watch ninjas. I just put them in a box, put them in my closet. And I'm going to see what it's like to live without them. Um, I will tell you that... Uh, the tunas are, are kind of missed, but the problem with the Seiko tuna for me is it doesn't check all the boxes. It's not solar quartz, it's just straight quartz. I'd rather it be solar and it doesn't have sapphire on it and that it just doesn't check the boxes for me. The last few times I wore my tunas, even though I love the way they look, I wasn't quite feeling it, the total experience, just because they don't check all the boxes. This checks all the boxes for me. Uh, I wouldn't wear this in a pool. I wouldn't wear that even though it is a screw down crown. Uh, but uh, so I'm bonding with the, with my citizens more and maybe in January if I don't miss my Seikos too much I would sell them all and I would buy one nice piece. There are two uh, solar watches that I like. Uh, one is a Seiko Astron SBXC021X5 and I've never liked Astron models they've always looked too busy but the particular one I just mentioned is really clean it, it's more it's more I don't know it has more of a Grand Seiko vibe and uh, and so uh, at 1700 bucks uh, I have a feeling it's going to go down in price it hasn't been on the market that long there's also a Citizen Atessa that I like. It's a, a GPS watch, CC 301051E, and uh, I, I like those two a lot. And then um, there's another watch that I want to get that's not, it's probably about half the price. It's not even half the price of the ones I just mentioned. I was on Random Rob's uh, channel. I go on it almost every day. And... Uh, about six weeks ago or so, he had a 42 millimeter titanium Citizen Mont Bell. I think it was limited edition. I think it said function is beauty on the dial. And uh, you've probably experienced this. I was looking at it, and a voice in my, si my vo a voice in my head said, uh oh. You know that uh oh voice? Because you, you kind of know in that moment you're going to pull the trigger on a watch. And uh, you want to hear something crazy? I think I've looked at Random Rob's video of that uh, Mont Bell almost every day for the last six weeks. And, uh, ooh, I really like that watch a lot. And I just, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting it soon. Uh, I'll be pulling the trigger on that. But uh, my Seikos have been in a box in my closet for a few days. And uh, the only two that I'm really feeling like, whoa, that would be crazy if you got rid of them. I have a domed Sapphire Seiko Diver. It's SBDC 053. It's a blue dial. That, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I kept that one. And then I have another blue dial diver by Seiko. And they both have automatic movements, which I don't know. Anyways, the, the at one is SBDC 065. It's Scion Blue. And those two, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up keeping those. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, the tunas are nice. I'm not 100% feeling them, though, because, like I told you, they don't check all the boxes. Uh, the Seiko Coral Monster, mm, it's hard lex. I, I don't know, man. I turned 58. I wanted solar, and I wanted sapphire. That's, it just hit me, man, at the age of 58. Uh, hey, man, appease, indulge the 58-year-old inside you. Hey, man, I have the body of a 20-year-old, and I feel like I have the body of a 20-year-old anyway. Well, we'll see how long that lasts, McMahon, until your knee blows out during your next kettlebell workout. Get over it, buddy. Yeah, anyways. So, uh, going to get ready for work. Uh, I don't know what to say about this beautiful uh, Citizen other than it's getting a lot of wrist time. I'm bonding a lot with my Citizens right now. For some of you, this will be way too busy. 
but uh, completely legible for me. Completely uh, does a good job of balancing the complexity and artistry of the complex dial with legibility. Uh, love the way this creates presence on my wrist. It just feels perfect. I'm loving 44 millimeters. Uh, the sapphire is just beautiful heavy slab of it. Uh, I love the, uh, the solar gauge that tells me it is full and ready to go. I'm telling you man, I had a solar Damascus moment. Should that be the title of this? Uh, yeah, I think it will be. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to work. Tell me what you think. Forgive me if I offended you by putting my box of Seikos in the closet. But um, I'm just taking the advice of some wise watch ninjas. All right, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm out.